we back. You saw what happened the other day. Damian Lillard was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. And now the Portland Trail Blazers are without one of their best players in franchise history. I'm here to help the Trail Blazers. But, but I'm a petty dude. My goal is to get the Portland Trail Blazers a championship before the Milwaukee Bucks and Damian Lillard. You want to drop a diss track about our organization. I'm here to do right by the Blazers. And shout out to Dame, though. You, you know we got another love for you. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to hear me talk about these things. This is me in this exact same hoodie because I filmed it like an hour ago. I'm talking about it. Me, me, you, and the camera. An hour long talking about the trade. This is the Kenny Beach and Podcast. And we're going to be dropping multiple times a week. So I'll put the link in the description so you can subscribe to this channel. Or you can go to Apple or Spotify and listen to it as a podcast. Because I know some of y'all be commuting to school or work and you can't get the visuals. Either way, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Today's video is brought to you by Native. I do want to say well before Native decides to sponsor the channel, I have been using their product. So this is a match made in heaven. One day I ran out of deodorant and I decided to kind of venture off to different brands. I wanted something that was aluminum free, paraben free, and just made with clean ingredients. Best in the market is Native. The coconut and vanilla body spray was my starting point, but now I got like a whole started lineup. This right here is my big three. Uh, we take our shower, we got the aloe and green tea, boom. And then we get out, we use the deodorant of the citrus and herbal musk. And then if we need a little pick me up body spray, of course, the coconut and vanilla is A1, my favorite product that Native puts out. Native has a huge range of scents to please anyone. From the subtle sweetness of vanilla with the beachiness of coconut, or the calming salty breeze of sea salt and cedar, and their sweet peach and nectar if you enjoy fruity sweetness. Whatever combo you're thinking about, they probably got it over there at Native. The deodorants give you 72 hours of protection, body washes are dye free, vegan and cruelty free and the sprays are powered by air and you know we got a deal for you to get this best selling pack now that pack usually costs 36 dollars but i got a deal to get it down to 24 dollars if you hit the link in the description and use my code at checkout that is 33 percent off the order that is a steal i want to say thank you again to native for sponsoring another video let's get back to the action this is our ross as of right now i'm gonna do right by drew holiday and we're gonna trade him right here right now but the rest is the same i'm excited to see what deandre aiden looks like in his new jersey um, I, actually, I could just kind of look at it. There he is. <laughs> we got it. Um, I forgot he was signed to Puma. Um, and wearing the number 23, I guess. All right, so there he is. There's a lot of money tied into DeAndre Aiden at uh, 32 million. Obviously, Jeremy Grant's got that big old extension. We're here for this 19-year-old stud named Scoot. He is going to be our future, or now in our future, but we got to get rid of Drew Holiday. And we got to find the team that it makes the most sense. I will say, again, like I do in all these videos, these are not hyper-realistic, but they're not going to be too crazy. Because if I really wanted to win a championship right now, let me show you what I could do. Boom, boom. G give me a first round. Where are my picks? W where are my Milwaukee Bucks picks? Oh, so these trades aren't good then. But if I wanted to win the championship this year, I could. Objectively, I could. I could. I could flip this team around. So it's not meant to be hyper-realistic, but it's not meant to be hyper-fiction either. All right, so what teams could use Drew Holiday? A lot of teams could. Drew Holiday is that type of player where you can fit on pretty much every roster. So it's a, a matter of where do I want to send him, really. I'm a, I might do this in a very weird way. Instead of going to get the best trade for him, I might just do something cool like send him to the Orlando Magic so he can play with Franz Wagner, Paolo Bencaro, a team that has not expressed interest at all. But if we want to make that money match, we you give us back John Isaac, Gary Harris, and give us Jalen Suggs in a first round pick. Boom. Deal. Right? I don't know if I'm going to do that, but that would just be fun for them. I want to see what that Orlando Magic team can be now that I give them a guy that can play shooting guard with Markel Fultz on the team. I could send him to the Miami Heat, which is a team that's interested, but I don't know how interesting that is for me. Maybe I just send him to Orlando. I think I talked myself into sending him to Orlando, bro. That trade looked kind of fun on paper. You know, they could give us the contract that is John Isaac. You give us back Jalen Suggs, and they give us back the contract that is Gary Harris. We give you back too many cameras who was a part of this trade. And I'm wondering if I could steal your the Nuggets first round pick. That pick ain't valuable to you. But at least I could tell my fans we got a first round pick and a young player in Jalen Suggs. Deal? Nope. Uh, we'll give you seconds. They want to give us they want us to give them first. Oh, man, they bugging. I tried to do some cool stuff. They weren't really with it. Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, the first round pick. They want to do the swaps where we get the worst and they get the best of it. That's not a deal worth doing. You could take Justin Jackson, though. Give them Atlanta second. I don't care about second round picks. Deal. The goal is to now flip Tyler. <laughs> now the goal is to flip Tyler Hero to Larry Mark. No, I'm joking, but what the heck? Two first round picks and Ben Simmons 
Tyler Hero is going to Brooklyn to, to play alongside the rest of the guys. I think that their lineup goes like this. Mikel is now at three. Uh, and then Cam is now a four full-time. And now they have Dinwiddie, Hero, uh, Bridges, Cam, and Claxton. That, that's pr- no, I, I, that just got rid of it. That's pretty fun. And we just turned those players into like four more first-round picks. I see that as an absolute W. Um, and we got Simmons and Simons and Smith and stuff. So, you know, the goal is to win a championship before the Milwaukee Bucks. Right now, we're banking on the idea of them not winning it this year. You know? Uh, because obviously, we're, we're definitely not winning it this year. But let me hire some scouts because since we are going to be in this lottery, we need guys that can tell us about the draft people. Um, and that's probably what we're going to do this first year. Maybe there's another trade down the line getting rid of Jeremy Grant or something, but only time will tell. I'm trying to finesse and trade Jeremy Grant for first-round picks. Um, <laughs> the Clippers must think that uh, Jeremy Grant is their last piece, and I am going to say yes. We got more picks for Jeremy Grant than we got for uh, Damian Lillard. So that's all fun and dandy. We got uh, all of those uh, that money off the table. If we're checking in on the Milwaukee Bucks, they are really good. But we're rooting, we're rooting against them this season because we're not good enough. Next year, we might be good enough. I don't know how this offseason is going to play out. But, yeah, the one time I'm rooting against an opposing team that, that, that I don't really have any association with. First season is finally done. 2K simulation. When I say finally, I mean it's been a while. Uh, all right, so Dame won Clutch Player of the Year. Look past that. We didn't just give that man away because um, we did it. We got a treasure trove of first-round draft picks and a first-rounder. We were 30 and, and 52. Uh, the Bucks were the two seed. Fingers crossed they lose. Uh, so they win the first round. They're in the conference finals. Uh, remember when I said I need them to lose? Um, in my video yesterday, when we were going through all of this, they lost. So I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be the same thing every single time. No! They're all they're eight games, eight wins away from a championship. They win game one against Boston. Come on, Boston. Let's go, Boston. Let's go, Boston. One more game. Oh, the Bucks have messed up. Dame, you done messed up by giving me one free year. You done messed up by giving me one free year, Dame, and, and comp. Um, Chris Paul, no, yeah, what do you do? Uh, they didn't really, really messed up because I am about to go ham. NBA Draft Lottery, boom. We end up with pick number six, and that's it. That's fine. We're fine with that. Let's figure out exactly what this offseason looks like. We re-sign Shaden Sharp, rookie deal. That's no problem. We could potentially move Ben Simmons' as $40 million plus that six overall pick. Let's see what teams are really bad. Uh, the Wizards don't have anything of value to me. And what other teams are really bad? Uh, the Charlotte Hornets. I tried to get the Charlotte Hornets to have Tyler Hero. I tried to get Gordon Hayward's last year of his contract. They weren't budging. The Utah Jazz have Larry Marketing potentially, but I doubt they're giving that away. The, the Kings are selling. Kings are selling. We already got guard play. We already got a center that we like at least a decent enough in DeAndre Aiden. So maybe this is not a, a team that we talk to unless we're saying let's bring the Murray brothers together. Yeah, no. Uh, what else team? What else? What else? Okay, so the Orlando Magic, they won't be trading us anything. This is just, well, we gave them Tyler Hero and they were not good. 22 points per game for Tyler Hero, 42% from three. He had a good year. Team-wise, they didn't. The Nuggets have nobody untouchable. So that's a little fun thing. The Pacers are also selling. Nobody untouchable. But again, another team that has some stuff, but nothing that fit what we want to do. So this is going to be an interesting offseason because I don't really know what we, where we go with. We got this big old contract that is Ben Simmons' contract and nowhere to throw him to. Like Brandon Ingram's archetype in the game of 2K24 is walking bucket. You don't think I want a walking bucket on my team last year for his deal? I, I mean, I doubt I doubt we can snag him away from a team that just finishes a 6 seed and he's really good. Bro, his name is Walking Bucket. If I had the time, I would go through all of that and, and, and figure out how many players in the league right now are call, calling themselves a Walking Bucket. Um, okay, so Ben Simmons uh, is an option. Brandon Ingram, the money matches. Of course it does. We give them the sixth overall pick. We give them... The let's see, let's see, let's see. The Clippers pick should be in. We have a lot of picks right now. This don't even account for the Bucks picks that we still haven't been given. We have a Heat first rounder that might be worth something. No matter what I did, they said no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 
Ben Simmons in the sixth overall pick in the Trey Finder. See, this is where Trey Finder gets you in trouble because all of these trades are going to look pretty decent. The Lowry Marketer one is so interesting. So very interesting. But I feel like we could just sign Lowry Marketing in free agency next year if we really need to. The Orlando Magic are willing to give us a second overall pick. That doesn't make sense. I'll give them contract relief. Trade them last year of Ben Simmons for three years of Cal Kuzma and we move up one first round pick or one draft spot. We'll do that. That, that will be the trade of the offseason. It's not enough to get us into championship contention by any means. But, you know, some baby steps. Uh, so here we go with the NBA draft. Fifth overall pick is our, ours. See who's on the board. I did do scouting. Uh, the best guy available in the, in the mock draft is these guys up top here. None of them really look interesting, really. Ugh. Their ceilings are low. That's why I kind of want to trade out of this spot because it's just not a lot of real talent unless you got the first pick. The first pick guy looks solid. Not a lot of talent here, so I'm going to try to trade out of it again, honestly. As crazy as it sounds, I am willing to trade the fifth overall pick for Herb Jones. Yep, uh, and they got Dean Samuels, so hopefully Dean helps them out. He's pretty good, but he's also older than a lot of the people. Um, I, I feel good about that, honestly. I know it's the fifth overall pick, but when you think about it in the sense that that draft class was bad, I think that's a, I think that was the right move. The goal is to be competitive enough where we can be ultra buyers come deadline. Because when I look at what our roster consists of, right? When I look at this new starting lineup of Scoot, Sharp, uh, Herb, Kuzma, Aiden, I feel like that could be a playoff team, potentially. I look at Anthony Swell, the, okay, the bench, is, <laughs> the bench is not very good. But Anthony Simon's coming off the bench, and if we're just looking at the dollar amounts, if there's a superstar player ready to be traded away from his city, Anthony Simon's at uh, 25 and Kuzma at 23 is max money plus. So we can do that. Uh, we are top heavy for sure, for sure, for sure. But but it is, it is what it is. You know, we, we got to play exactly to Kuzma. Oh, my God. We got we got to play the market. We got all the draft capital you could ever want. Just play the market the right way and hope that we're I just want to be around 500. That's it. Around and based on the first two weeks we might end up doing that. Around 500 around the deadline we should be solid enough to make a splash. Check it out. We're about halfway through the season trade deadline ish. And, and a lot of things have happened. Brace yourself, all right? Out west the two seed is the Portland Trail Blazers. That's shocking, but that's not even the craziest. Out East, the second to worst team in all of the Eastern Conference and the third worst team in the entire league is your Milwaukee Bucks. So I don't even have to worry about winning a championship before them because they're buns. They're awful. They also got Grayson Allen back. Um, he played one season <laughs> and, it, uh, and Phoenix ended up right back here. Uh, so, yeah, that's not even a competition. But also, the Suns are awful. 15 to 31, and they traded Bradley Beal for Trey Young. And it has not mattered, which is absurd. This association makes no sense. Utah Jazz are also really, really bad. Ooh, ooh and Larry Marketing sucks right now. Do we sneak in and steal Larry Marketing away last year of his contract? Or... Do we go talk to the Clippers about 33-year-old Kawhi Leonard, who so far on this season is averaging 18 points per game, shooting very, very efficient. Um, he's under contract for quite some time, so we'd be we'd be committing until he's 37 years old. <laughs> who gave him this money? I can't even convince myself this is a worthy trade. But with them being that bad, I believe they should be selling, and let's see if that's true. They are. So he's my, he might not even be... Oh, they also have Jeremy Grant somehow? Okay. Um, he might not even be hard to trade for right now. Oh, yeah, I gave them Jer I gave them Jeremy Grant. Do you want your picks back? Because you're going to be bad. I can give them their picks back. I can give them their picks back, and that can be the trade, right? Other teams, the Jazz are considered themselves rebuilding. We can add Larry Market. I'm a little bit afraid of trading for him. A, because, again, he's not having a great season. And B, he's on the last year of his deal, but we'll add him to our list. I'm interested in the Kawhi Leonard trade. They might be, you know, a hard trade to pull off. We'd have to give them Anthony Simons for one, who's really, really good. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't want to trade him away. Kuzma is less good. So maybe we feel confident in trading Kuzma away. Kuzma and Herb Jones, just the two players we got back in that last trade. And then we have to also give them, uh, let's, let's give them Jabari Walker. And then they can give us back their worst player 
in this case, it's Amir Coffee. No, it's not because Amir Coffee is making real money. So it's got to be not their worst player, but their cheapest player, which is Hayward Highsmith. Trade is not accepted, as it shouldn't have been. Do, do, we, do, we, do, we, do we do we do we do we do we do this trade, y'all? Do we prioritize Kawhi? Even if we don't win this year, he's probably going to regress. But he's Kawhi Leonard, and the core would be his little old self and these young cats. That does not feel right. Larry Marketing makes more sense as far as timeline goes. But also, do we think we're going to be able to retain him this season if we need? He's going to be easier to trade for, too. It might just cost us Herb Jones and um, Jordan Hawkins. So I'm going to prioritize that because, yeah, Kawhi is going to keep progressing. We're going to try to get Larry Marketing. Um, we need to make up a little bit more money. So, yeah, we could give them Jab we can give them Jabari. You know, he's not really playing for us at all. Oh, he is playing. But he's not good. But they need somebody making more money, so it will be Jordan Hawkins. They're going to say no. I thought they were going to say no. Um, but I guess with him being so bad and them being so bad and him being the last year of his deal, they said, hey, why not? Uh, Larry Marketing, welcome to Portland, my G. I did not expect that to work. Um, I'm a little bit of afraid that they accept it so easily like what was the reasoning behind it is that the splash that we were anticipating not necessarily but maybe larry marketing can rejuvenate the, on the second half of the season and we can go on if we win a championship like this that would be the quickest rebuild of a team uh that was not going all in we have not gone all in we haven't traded away many first round picks if anything we've acquired way more than what we traded away and we might be there. Jabari towards MCL. Should have traded him away. Should have traded him away. Dane Hardy jumped up to a 20 point per game score. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because we made the playoffs as the two seed. And the Milwaukee Bucks did not at all. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up the two seed. But here we are. And if we win the championship just by acquiring Larry Market. And then we did something great. Uh, oh, we also acquired Kuzma. I can't forget Kuzma. Our star lineup looks good again. You know that the depth is a struggle. The MVP of the league, uh, Luka Doncic, is in a play-in team, by the way. So, I don't know what universe we live in. He's doing his part. But, like, man, we did 2-1 us, 3-1 us, second round appearance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Portland. We're going against the Los Angeles Lakers, who do not have LeBron James. Oh, I prevented him from retiring, but I guess he decided to, to take his talents to... I don't know why he's taking his talents through this time around in the universe. I, I don't know. Let's let's see where our old man Braun is at. He is with the Kings. Great. Yep, that's exactly the team I thought he was going to be with. Exactly. And they didn't make the playoffs. So he's, he spent last year of his career on a team that did not make the playoffs. So how sad is that? Instead of going back to L.A. But, I don't know. Even if they had him, they might be struggling to beat this Portland Trailblazer team. 2-2-1 two, two, them. 2-2. Two, 3-2 two, th three, two us, yes. 3-2 them. Uh, this is game seven. All right. Game seven. Uh, hey, if I'm being candid, if I'm being honest with you, I don't want to win a championship right now. I think we still got moves to do. I still want to see what school Henderson turns into. This is too early for us. But if we did do it, so be it. But this feels too early. So go Lakers. <laughs> you feel me? Yep, yep. Shout out to the Lakers. Thank you. Because I want this video to continue. But we do see the Hornets get to the finals to lose to Steph Curry. Is Chris Paul got his ring? Oh, I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. Chris Paul got his ring. Um, So... I've, I've, and then he can just retire. See, he tried to retire last year, and I told him, no, bro, give it one more go. One, one more go. And there he is in the NBA Finals and winning. Um, we are the Blazers, and we have uh, pick number 22 and 25. It's not the greatest. Utah didn't even have their own first-round pick, and they traded us their best player. Good business practices. Good business practices. Interesting. The Heat are selling. Um, Wait, Bam is an 87, and so... Oh, I was going to trade DeAndre Aiden for Bam, but in this universe, they're the same player. Same overall. All right, well, there's that. There was that idea. I thought we was about to come up. Uh, you, you, uh, yep, yep. I'm not going to ask about this, because this means that. Okay, all right, well. So this is where we at with it. Larry Markin is being ungrateful. We freed him from that toxic scenario, and he said he don't even want to negotiate, so we lost out on Lowry. Luckily, the only thing we gave up was Herb Jones, so I don't feel too bad. So our, our prize is the guy I said I wanted to go get earlier. Brandon Ingram, welcome to Portland, man. Brandon Ingram, Anthony Simons, DeAndre Aiden. And, yeah, yeah, we look good. And, and these dudes should jump up again. Anthony, you're not safe. Last year of your deal, too. Oof. Last year of deal makes it rough. And we are a top-heavy team again. 
Last year of the deal makes it a lot tough. The interesting part about the center position in this game is there's just, if once you get past the first two, I guess three right now, it's super bare. Again, we talk about Bam and DeAndre Aiden basically being the same overall. That's just the way it is right now. So though I would like to trade Aiden for Bam, it's just like, it's the same thing. Um, Bam has more badges and stuff. 20 and 10 is the number, 15 and 10. I, I, I'll, I'll I'll try to get Bam, but I, if I was going to do it, I should have done it in the offseason, but we'll try it straight up, one for one. They want Austin Rivers. Cool. There we go. No, star lineup looks fine. Uh, our bench sucks. I be I cannot express that enough. The bench is not good outside of number the six man, but that's my where we have the leverage. We trade our six man in order to get multiple pieces that could come off the bench, maybe. I don't know. I think we can win, though. We were just a two seed last year. I think we upgraded you know, Larry Market and the Brandon Ingram. Larry Market again was having a, a terrible, terrible year when we traded for him, man. He ain't finished much better. So who knows? We're going to go to the deadline. Game is good. It's really good. And we thought that we might have to trade Anthony Simons to upgrade. I think we need to just improve our bench because right now our bench is dreadful, right? We have uh, Shake Milton who's shooting it well, buddy Shake Milton. With the shooting guard position, we feel good with. Terrence Davis is not having a great season, but he's providing good stuff. But we're looking for a playoff player. Uh, Chris Murray at this point in his career is hitting his three-pointers better than the first two years, but he's Chris Murray. Uh, and then the center position is just kind of non-existent. So I put together some t people that are on selling teams that can help us. Usman Garuba, he's averaging 10 rebounds per game, and he also hits three-point shots occasionally. He's 6'8", but he's a, he plays way bigger than that. He plays for the Warriors. So let's go, to, go talk to the Warriors about Usman Garuba. This is where, with them being a selling team, I feel like I have a little bit of leverage, and I can give them a player like Larry Nance, they can say no. And then I say, hey, we have a unprotected first round pick for that. They want Chris Murray and they'll give me Jetty Osmond. I'm not ready to do that. So instead, I will give you a King second round pick plus a Trailblazer second round pick. They want a first and they'll give us their first round pick this year. Deal. Uh, thanks. Um, so that's fun. We also saw DeMar DeRozan down here. He's making a minimum. And he's still a 16 point per game player. Now, I would probably move him back over to the three and then he'd be our backup three. So let's go talk to the Brooklyn Nets for the second time in this video and say, hey, we want that old fella that can hit a bunch of mid-range jump shots, even though in the playoffs it might not translate as well. We don't expect him to play a lot of minutes come playoff time. So we give you Dwayne Washington. They want a first round pick from us. Deal. And just like that, we increased our bench production tenfold. You know, Usman Garuba... And DeMar DeRozan come onto the team, and they instantly make us a lot better. Shake is still our backup PG, which, again, I don't love. We, we do still have Bones Highland out here, who's averaging 21 on terrible efficiency. He is out there chucking shots left and right, and I kind of want to trade for him, so I will. I, <laughs> I will. I ain't even looked to see what the Blazers, or not the Blazers, the Bucks are up to nowadays. Um, maybe we should look and see if we should be worried about them this year. We will give you... Uh, we will give you Luca Garza and then the or give you your first round pick back because you guys suck. See, look, look, perfect. You get your pick back. Everybody walks out feeling great about it. And now we can take the minutes away from Shake and we can give them to uh, we're going to give them to, to Haas Klein and then make DeMar DeRozan the shooting guard or small forward. Boom. Guys, I feel good. I feel good. Kuzma's coming back from his dislocated finger very soon. And this is a team that should win the championship. We have depth. We have star power. We have School Henderson, who's a near 20 point per game scorer and has been his entire career. Shane Sharp is a near 20 point per game scorer, almost 50, 40, 80, or he's over 50, 40, 80. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. We feel really, really good. Bam! Come on, get this ring, man. Get this ring. Lowry went over to the Knicks and came off the bench. <laughs> Could have stayed here and been a star. You could have stayed here and potentially won a championship. We get executive of the year. My name is Dion Barry Carroll, if you didn't know. Uh, Portland, 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 all NBA is nobody. But one seed is yes, and the Bucks are not even in the play -in. We don't have to worry about it. Damn, you should have stayed around, buddy. We would have been able to build around you, but instead you decided not to. We're going against the Sacramento Kings, who have OG Ananobi now, instead of Harrison Barnes. Seems like an upgrade. How much of an upgrade? Enough to take at least one game away from us, but that's probably it because I feel confident in our Blazers' ability to win. OKC's next, and if they're anything like the current teams, just older, then they're going to be crazy. And they're exactly the current team, <laughs> but just older. So, yeah, they're crazy. Uh, Shea at 94, Giddy's almost 90, so on and so forth. Uh, this team has the talent to beat us. 
Do they have the depth, though? Game one is a no to that question. They got Malik Monk coming off the bench. That's pretty good. Derek White, Derek White, Derek White is coming off the bench. Pretty good. Case and Wallace is still on the team. Pretty good, pretty good. But, but we won that game. And we win game two as well. We maintain our home court advantage. It's close, though. Game one was a five-point game. Game two was a one-point game. It's anybody serious, man. Guzman Garuba's back. Oh, it's over. It's 3 0 us. We don't blow a 3 0 lead. And just like that, well, we just lost our, one of our star players. Um, School Henderson. It's gone. Luckily for us, our backup also averaged a lot of points. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We start Anthony Simons at the one and hope that, that that's not going to deter us from winning. We get to the conference finals to go against the, the Utah Jazz, who have Brandon Clark at the five instead of Alperin Shingoon. I don't know where Shingoon is. He injured? Is he not on the team? I don't know. On paper, we look a lot better, even without us having School Henderson. Actually, School Henderson is a is what the heck? No way. Um, two of our top five players are just done for the rest of the playoffs. Can we win seven more games? The answer so far is Bam. That's the answer. S simple as that. Uh, Brandon Ingram, you're lucky we won, but Brandon, you know what? I'm going to tell Brandon to go overdrive. Shaden Sharp got injured too. What did you do? Sprained his left knee one to two weeks. And th now they're trying to have Brandon Ingram come off the bench. Bro, cut it out. Well, we just need two more games here. One more game. Uh, that game was a blowout. One more game. One more game. Okay. All right. We're in the finals to go against... The Cleveland Cavaliers. Our conference finals MVP averaged 15 points per game. Not an ideal scenario for us. Shade Sharp is back, right? That helps a ton. We will not be getting back the other two, but Sharp is an elite level player at this point in time. We lose game one by 30 nearly. Game two, we also lose by 30 nearly. I cannot believe we just had this much unlucky. I just, I don't know. I need to shorten the rotation, I guess, and say, hey, go get it. Go get it done. There we go, 20 point win ish. Uh, I might shorten it again. Chris Murray, we're gonna take these minutes. We're gonna we're gonna let our star two players. I know you tied, bi. That's why we paid you the big bucks for these moments like this. Where's what's your shot, Tennessee bi? Because it needs to be higher. It's at 90. I need it at 96. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game four, we lose. Oh man, Shane Sharp and Brandon Ingram are trying their best. Bam is struggling out here. I cannot believe we just got hit with the injury bug and Shane Sharp gets injured again. If we still win it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We still win it. Next game. We st Ladies and gentlemen, we are one game away. Okay, okay. Since this is the last game of this season, balls to the wall. Scoot is back! Scoot is back! Oh my God! This is this is amazing. Scoot is here. Scoot is here to save the day potential. Um, okay, okay. Scoot is here to save the day potential. Seven man rotation. Get How's Demar been looking? I'm sorry. Demar has been really solid. We're keeping Demar. Seven man rotation. Scoot is still going through his injury, but I do not care. And when I say seven man, you're gonna get some minutes, but we still trust Bi Sharp and then this injured one legged Scoot Henderson. And then bam, game seven at home, Portland, give, blow them out. First quarter is a win. Second quarter, we lose. It's a closest game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a comeback. What a comeback story for the Portland Trail Blazers. Brandon Ingram, I love you. I love you. You made it happen. Scoot in his first game back said, don't worry. I got us. Wow. And I know this one looks weird, but you got to know I never, ever deceive y'all. There, we had no business winning that series after all of those injuries, but we did. And we won it before Dame, before Giannis got number two. And I want to see your diss track now, Damien. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the links in the description, go watch the other content, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.